Our top story today, friends and family members celebrating the life of a Waterloo teenager whom several months ago lost his long fight with cancer. It's part of a project called Project 52, the Trees to Remember program. News Channel 7's Colleen O'Shaughnessy takes us to today's planting. The thing about a tree is it's a living, growing uh, organism. You know, it's, it's something positive. You can watch it grow year after year after year. And just driving by this tree will, you know, just help me remember him as this tree grows. <laughs> Gonna help us, you know, remember how odd would have grown if he was here. It's a new life to remember a life lost. Nearly one year ago, the Malkich family said goodbye to their son and brother, Adnan. With time, you kind of it's not that you get over it, but you kind of move on and you know that he's always going to be with you and everything, so it gets easier. He said not to cry, yep. so we're staying strong. I didn't cry because before he left, he didn't want anybody to, but it's just the emotions that get to you that you can't stop. A few tears are wiped away as Adnan's tree is planted. He was class president, a basketball player, and an academic all-star. But most of all, he made everyone smile. It's been hard playing basketball and football without him and knowing that he's not going to be playing with us, but he's always going to be watching. It was so funny. He was, he was just amazing. You know, he could help you with anything. He was just a really good guy. His father, Rudy, writes Adnan's name on the shovel. It's the same shovel each parent holds as they fill in the ground around their child's tree. And although there is a language barrier, Dustin Blythe doesn't need words to know what this moment amazing. means to Rudy. You know, I look at Rudy's eyes and I look at, you know, he just knows what I feel and I know what he feels. In Waterloo, Colleen O'Shaughnessy, Iowa's News Channel 7.